Welcome to the public hearing for the West Silver Springs Boulevard or State Road 40 Access Management Design Project for proposed transportation improvements from Southwest 27th Avenue to Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue in Marion County, Florida. The purpose of this public hearing is to share information with the general public about the proposed improvements and to provide an opportunity for community members to express their opinions and comment on the project. We encourage your participation. At the conclusion of the presentation, attendees who have completed a speaker card will be given the opportunity to express their views. We ask that you come up to the podium and speak into the microphone so everyone can hear you. Speaker cards are available at the sign-in table. Project staff will also distribute speaker cards during a brief break before opening the floor to comments. There are three primary components to tonight's hearing. First, the open house, which occurred prior to this presentation where you were invited to view the project displays and to speak directly with the project team and provide your comments in writing or to the court reporter. Second, this presentation, which will explain the project purpose and need and proposed design plans. Third, a formal comment period following this presentation, where you will have the opportunity to provide oral statements at the microphone, or you may provide your comments directly to the court reporter or in writing. We ask that you limit your verbal comments to two minutes to allow time for everyone who would like to speak. The project team will not be answering questions during this portion of the public hearing. Members of the project team will be available after the formal comment period to answer your questions on a one-on-one -on -one basis. This public hearing is being held in compliance with all applicable state and federal regulations. In November 2010, Florida enacted a law which requires the department to hold a public hearing whenever modifications to property access are proposed along a state highway. Hearings must be held 180 days prior to finalization of the design of the project. This public hearing was advertised consistent with all federal and state requirements. Letters were sent to 20 elected officials, 14 government partners, 12 agencies, and 167 property owners and other interested persons. A newspaper ad was published in the Ocala Star Banner on Sunday, September 22, 2019 and again on September 29, 2019. The FDOT also submitted an ad to be published in the Florida Administrative Register and distributed a press release to the local media. Title VI was enacted as part of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. It prohibits discrimination on the basis of race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status in programs and activities receiving federal financial assistance. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting either the Florida Department of Transportation, District 5 office, or the Tallahassee office. This contact information is also provided on a sign displayed near the sign-in table. This project was developed out of the State Road 40 or West Silver Springs Boulevard Access Management Study from Southwest 27th Avenue to Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue. The purpose of the project is to improve safety by updating the corridor using current access management standards, including closure and modifications to the existing median openings. The project will also include landscaping removal or replanting during construction in some areas. 
no additional right of way will be needed. West Silver Springs Boulevard, or State Road 40, is a four-lane divided urban principal arterial roadway. The existing typical section includes four 12-foot travel lanes, two in each direction, curb and gutter, and a 36-foot minimum grassed median. There is an eight-foot wide sidewalk with a three-foot utility strip in the eastbound direction and a five-foot wide sidewalk with a three-foot utility strip in the westbound direction. This project will not change the overall configuration of State Road 40. All improvements will be made within the existing typical section. Now we'll discuss access management and how it affects this project. Access management is the planning and control of the location, spacing, design, and operation of driveways, median openings, and street connections to a roadway. Access management designates where and how vehicles enter and exit a roadway, helps protect public investment in roadways, and improves public safety by preserving mobility reducing delays, and minimizing crashes. The illustration shows a collision that could have been prevented by closing the median or barrier where the westbound automobile is trying to turn into or cross the eastbound travel lane. Currently, State Road 40 is a four-lane divided urban principal arterial roadway with an access classification 5. A Class 5 means that it is a moderate capacity road in a suburban or commercial area. The access classification determines the spacing between medians. Within this corridor, full median openings must be at least 1,320 feet apart, and directional medians must be at least 660 feet apart. Conflict points are locations along a roadway where the paths of two vehicles can legally cross. Each conflict point is a location that has the potential for a crash. The goal of this project is to limit the number of conflict points by closing or modifying median openings. This will restrict vehicles from turning across the lanes of traffic at the same time at these locations which will eliminate conflict points. This will increase safety along the roadway and reduce traffic delays. U-turns are generally safer than direct left turns. A study of the safety and operational implications of U-turns versus direct left turns on multi-lane arterial roadways with a non-reversible median was conducted in Florida in 2001. The analysis of 250 sites revealed that right turn plus U-turn maneuvers on six lane arterials exhibited an 18% lower crash rate and 27% lower injury fatality rate than direct left turns. The study also found that U-turning drivers experience less delay than those making a direct left turn from a driveway under high volume conditions. For more information, copies of the Florida Department of Transportation's Access Management brochure are available at the sign-in table. You can also download a copy of the brochure. Go to the website at www.fdot.gov and type Access Management Brochure in the search box at the upper right-hand corner of the home page. The brochure can also be found on the www.cflroads.com webpage. The median opening at Southwest 24th Avenue will be reconstructed to provide a bi-directional median opening. 
the existing eastbound left turn lane will be extended 30 feet. The existing westbound left turn lane will be extended 65 feet. The existing turn lane pavement will be milled and resurfaced, and curb and gutter will be provided at the ends of the raised median. The full median opening at Southwest 21st Avenue will be reconstructed to provide a bi-directional median opening. The existing full median opening at Southwest 17th Avenue will be reconstructed to provide an eastbound only directional median opening onto Southwest 17th Avenue. The full median opening located in front of a private driveway west of Southwest 23rd Avenue will be closed. The existing full median opening at Southwest 16th Terrace will be closed. The existing pavement will be removed and a vegetative median will be added. The existing full median at Southwest 16th Court will be closed. The existing pavement will be removed and a grassed median will be provided. Additional access management improvements include extending the existing turn lanes at Southwest 23rd Avenue. A westbound U-turn lane will be constructed within the median at Southwest 19th Avenue. The existing turn lane will be maintained at Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue to accommodate vehicles during peak hours. The FDOT is coordinating with the City of Ocala regarding landscaping within the median. The project team will coordinate with emergency responders and the Marion County Schools Transportation Department to update them on the design project, schedules, traffic patterns, and maintenance of traffic plans to avoid bus schedule impacts and allow continuous access to emergency vehicles. Suntran Route 3 currently services this portion of the State Road 40 corridor. Temporary construction relocations and other transit issues are being coordinated during the design phase. For more information about this project, please visit www.cflroads.com. This website is the FDOT's living platform to keep you informed of ongoing and future projects. You are encouraged to visit this website, which contains the links to easy access to online information and to stay current with the status of the project. Once you have accessed the project website, you will be able to view more information on the project, including project contact information. You will also be able to access project files, such as this presentation. Type the project number 4413661 in the search box at the top of the page. Then click on Go. When the new page opens, click on the project file name. We encourage you to share your comments with us. There are many different ways you can submit your comments. Provide your comment directly to the court reporter. Fill out a comment form and drop it in the comments box at the comments table. Take a comment form with you and mail it to the address shown on the form. Email your comments to the FDOT project manager Heidi Trivet at heidi.trivet at dot.state.fl.us. Use the Ask a Question button on the project page at www.cflroads.com under the Project Manager's contact information.
After this presentation, we will collect speaker request cards from anyone wishing to make a verbal statement. It is important that we have your information on a speaker card for the public record. Because it is very important for us to hear from those who wish to speak, we will not be responding to questions during the public comment period. Once the comment period is finished, project staff will be available to answer your questions. Thank you for your interest in this project and for taking time to attend this public hearing. We will now call upon those who have turned in speaker cards. If you have not filled out a speaker card but wish to speak, please hold up your hand and a member of the project team will bring one to you. When your name is called, please come forward, then state your name and address into the microphone. If you represent an organization, municipality, or other public body, please provide that information as well. We ask that you limit your comments to two minutes. Again, the project team will not be answering questions during this portion of the public hearing. Members of the project team will be available after the formal comment period to answer your questions on a one-on-one -on -one basis.